Hello, I'm Jordan from Turner Hastings and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove and install a new toilet seat. So firstly we'll show you how to remove it. So here's the toilet suite here with the seat attached. First you need to do is press the two quick release buttons to remove the seat. So push this one, this one. On some seats you need to hold it in while lifting and it comes off like that. That's an easy cleaning feature. Next is you lift off the uh, silver caps. So sometimes it's a little bit hard, you might need to use your screwdriver and go for a point that's popped up a little bit and lift it up. If it doesn't work, you might need to use some hot water to, to uh, heat up the silver cap to expand it. Now you'll see the two screws here. So these can be removed from above. Simply undo in a anti-clockwise. Sometimes you might need to lift up on the disc while unscrewing to ca cause enough pressure onto the blind fixing kit. There we are. Now these components here, you may not be able to get them out, they may fall into the underside of the pan, in which case you would need to, on your new toilet seat, you need to make sure you get a new fixing kit, which normally comes free with the toilet seat. So it's so you don't need to access the underside of the pan. So that's how to remove a toilet seat. In the next part of the video, I'll show you how to attach a toilet seat. Okay, so in this second part of the video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install a new toilet seat on your toilet suite. So your toilet seat should come with the following components here. It has the, the two main discs with the pins coming out, two cover domes, these rubber components, um, some bolts, and it does vary from model to model. Sometimes these are plastic, sometimes they're rubber, and sometimes you get these components and sometimes you don't. But I'll show you how, how this one goes together and they're all fairly similar. So firstly you get one of the discs, you put the rubber on the underside, ensuring this hole lines up with the hole, the long slip there. <clears throat> then you put this metal large washer into the gap. Put the bolt through the middle, put the expanding piece there, and the nut on the bottom. Now these are this is a blind fixing kit I should have mentioned, which means it can be done from above. You don't need access to the underside of the pan to attach this toilet seat. So I'm just doing the same again on the other disc. Okay, now I'll demonstrate how to put these uh, discs onto the toilet suite. So there should be the two holes here on the top. Make it somewhat tight enough to grip once you, once you put it through. There we are. Now the first thing to do is big, get a Phillips head screwdriver or whatever's the size to suit your toilet fixing kit and um, just do it up so it's fairly tight but you can still move these. So you, sometimes you need to lift it up to apply pressure to the blind fixing kit so it grabs. See, So it's now tight, you can move it but it's fairly tight. Now, the next part is you get the toilet seat, and I always find a little trick 
the easiest way to line up the toilet seat is when it's flat, not when it's upright. So normally the seat fixings come in the upright position. So you put on one side, push it across, push this one across so you can line them up. It should just clip on. Now remember it's still loose at this stage and we haven't aligned it yet. So first you've got to bring the seat down. You need to hold these flat while the seat is soft closing. Now, see obviously the seat is not correctly aligned yet. So next thing, now it's now it's flat and, it, and these should be still done up loosely. You can get it in the right spot so you can move it forward. See it's right now it's too far back. See the, the, the lips showing. Here it's you can shift around a bit. This is too far forward now because the lips are overhanging. So you need to get it in the right spot. So oh, I've just got an issue here. This rubber, I just, I've just noticed it's twisted up. So we need to fix that. I was being a bit too rough with that one. There we are. I'll put the seat back on. Now, I've now got the seat equal distance around the whole pan. So it's now ready to tighten up. So what we need to do is lift the seat off. So you need to feel underneath for the um, quick release buttons. Let's lift it straight up. And we can hold the fixing exactly in the right spot where it's meant to be. And do these up as tight as you can without breaking it. It shouldn't break easily. You should use a hand screwdriver, not an electric drill. Or you could accidentally over tighten and break something. Now, I've tightened those up, and every six months to 12 months, you should re-tighten it because they can, the plastic or rubber can become loose over time. Finally, you put on the metal cover discs, place the seat back on, make sure it's clipped on properly, lift the seat up, and that's how you install the soft close toilet seat. Thanks for watching.